So tonight I'm working on a cross member to go between these front uh, leaf spring mounts. It's like 45 degrees out, what happened? I guess I didn't work hard enough this summer because I'm still not done with Franken truck. Anyways, so I've got this, oh shoot, I don't even remember what it is, two and a half by three and a half or something crazy like that. And I'm gonna put that, sorry. I'm gonna put that back here in this pocket across these two. So I just cut this one into shape and drilled some little pilots in there. So now I'm going to drill holes all the way through here. So I'll come back at you in a minute because I don't have my camera to mount anywhere and I can't really drill and hold the phone at the same time. So be right back. <laughs> All right, I rigged something up here. So we'll see. seconds of a song then you're okay for at least 10 seconds uh, it, you know at, at once maybe but uh, I might be going over on this one big fan of cutting oil too I can sharpen my own bits I've done it several times but like to. I like it when they just keep cutting. It saves time. You can clean this plate off pretty easy and kind of have to before I weld it up anyway. Or not hard, but before everybody welds it up. Actually, I'll probably tack it with my buzz box tonight. Finish up the well for good welder. The good welder being him, not necessarily the welder itself, but his welder is a lot better than mine too. Good drill bit is like the smell of napalm in the morning. Okay, now that one's bolted in, drilled and bolted. And I still need to grind the, kind of the radius, the, that inside corner, uh, probably just on the bottom there. And you can see a little bit of marker there. I'm gonna take 
a little bit more off. This one I've got it up a little higher. Probably don't need to radius anything since it's not really right on that inside radius. But now what I don't know is if this frame is perfectly parallel or if it, it might kind of come in a little bit, it might toe in a little, I don't know. I don't know how much of a difference that's going to make, but we'll see if I can measure once and cut four times and still be long enough to fit. So I'll come back at you. So everyone's wondering why, how the uh, Harbor Freight chop saw is doing. I found the extra set of brushes that I had. Still haven't thrown them in. Tonight I did put a bigger uh, wheel on there and I'm about to cut this tubing. So I need to figure out where I can set you up out here. Uh, um, let's see. Perfect. straight you know you get down there on the on the, when you're cutting something big like this and you get down there on that flat and it just it doesn't like to try and cut that much material at once and it, none of them do so let's see if how my measurement was well <clears throat> it actually Took a little more cutting, but I got her fit in there. It's nice and tight. I've got her pretty well centered, but I'm gonna level it up after I fill all the tires back up to where they should be. These I got three of the four of these military tires, 37 inch Humvee tires that just, I don't know, they just slow leak. The front passenger is the only one that doesn't leak and the rest of these now these sidewalls are tough tough so they don't really go all the way flat oh my compressor so I'll get these tires pumped up I'll get back at you okay I checked the frame to make sure that it's level and at least the top of the frame rails up here are then I got that level in there, then I got it spaced evenly from these notches in the frame back. And which puts it just about centered in these four holes here. So I'm just gonna tack this, but I gotta tack it well enough that I can get it in and out of here so I can be I can take it to my buddy to have him weld it. I think that'll work. Let's see if I can get that 
thing out of there now. Don't laugh too hard. Never said I was a welder. Sweet. Got her out. My tack weld's held. I don't know. I guess it's kind of surprising, but I gotta tell you that 7018 AC rod, I I like it. I'm a fan. Now my buddy says it's a real bear to try and weld back through, but hopefully I've got a little enough there that it's not really going to be a problem. But <clears throat> it sure would have helped if I had radius this beforehand. You gotta, you gotta be thinking another step ahead of yourself all the time. But anywho, there she is. So I can take it to my buddy and get her welded up for reels this time. Well, there she is. Pretty good welder fine in there. I don't know if I even said anything about this. I've got this hitch welded in here because basically I'm going to have the license plate uh, go into this receiver hitch. And uh, that way I can take it out and if I get a winch that goes in the receiver hitch, I can winch off either the front or the back. Um, I also should probably gusset this here out a ways maybe. I don't know. But I'm going to see if it fits in there at least. I can add the gussets with it already bolted in there. So I'm going to try and ram this thing in there see what happens. Ah, well, she fits in there. All the bolts went in on the front and back side. So, clears the balancer and everything. So, pretty happy about that. So, now I need to see if the bumper will fit on. I'll come right back at you here. Yes, sirree, bumper does still fit. It is like right against this and pretty much on the bottom of my skull license plate cover. So I might, this was originally going to be my cut line right in here, but it might end up being more on this ridge right here or slightly below. See if you can see in there. So you can't really get much better than that. And I thought I was gonna have more room than that. That's all right. I'd rather have it right at the edge than sunk back in there a ways where you'd never be able to get like a winch or something put on there. And honestly, I'd rather have it kind of more at the bottom because uh, I can. Uh, it seems like there'd be more clearance up top, but Anyways Okay, I took the flap disc to her so I can throw some paint on it. I Don't usually put this much effort into painting, but I don't know for some reason tonight. I did So I Also uh, Have a little trick for uh, What did I just do with it? For cleaning things after I flap disc it Take one of these siphon air guns, and I just stick it in a bottle of uh, mineral spirits and spray her down, and then hose it back off or spray it back off of there. And then, right now, what's on there is actually ether. Uh, so, I spray her down with ether afterwards, and tell you what, that will be clean when you're done. So, it'll take paint real well. I just need to get it to somewhere clean here. So I'll throw a little paint on it. It's still a little bit warm from all the grinding and flap discering. And uh, I guess maybe I will show you the finished product. There she is. Painted and installed.
So, oh, I guess I got a little scratch on my leaf spring mount there. But I think that <clears throat> tube ought to hold any uh, torsion that this that the leaf spring mounts could put on the frame. It's got to be way stronger than what was in there, which was just a Z-shaped piece of tin, basically. So now I need to cut out the bumper uh, where the license plate mounts, and then actually mount the bumper. I think I can. No, no, I can't mount the bumper yet because I still got to take these fenders off to swap doors out and a few other things. So. I guess I won't be mounting the bumper yet, but hey, at least that part's done. <laughs> now I don't feel so scared about driving it. Like the frame's gonna flop over. But I'm gonna call it quits on this project. So thanks for watching.